Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogaf, it's Wednesday and I'm playing Outer Wilds again. You had to skip last week's episode again, apologies for people that uh, come here for that, I had issues with my uh, boiler, had to get it replaced, which was an all day thing of drilling and banging and hammering and it, it was a whole thing. Anyway, this week... Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to Giants Deep, the water planet, during our explorations of Brittle Hollow, we discovered that you can go underneath the current of the, the, the oceans there to something by using the, the whirlwinds. Tornadoes? I think tornadoes is probably the best word for them. So I'm going to go and do that. According to the ship's computer, that thing, I'm also missing something in the old settlement on Brittle Hollow, but depending on how long the stuff at Giants Deep takes, I may try and go do that as well. I don't know what there is exactly under the water, but it sounds cool. I want to go and have a look. Like I say, I've got a secondary objective just in case I've got, you know, time. Boom. So let's go... Oh, yeah, I thought I was doing it wrong for a second then. Sorry, I had a bit of a brain fart. There we go. Yeah, I was just like, oh no, that's Giant Steep. I'm going to Brittle Hollow. No, I'm not. I'm not going to Brittle Hollow. I was just talking about Brittle Hollow. That's not the same thing. This is why you shouldn't give me control of anything, like, ever. Here we are, Giants Deep. So from what I remember, assuming that I remember correctly, there's a bunch of tornadoes, one of them is spinning the other way, and that throws you underneath the water, the rest should throw me up into space. Right? One goes, it, they all go up apart from that one that doesn't, which goes down. Yeah, good, good use of words there, son of Mogef. They all, they all go up except when they don't. Oh, hello, they're right bloody here. Well, let's have a look. Uh, they all seem to be spinning the same way. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't think that one is, is it? No, that one appears to be spinning the other way. Let's... Let, let's have a look here. Uh, hello? Oh! <laughs> well, that was a thing, wasn't it? Holy bloody hell. Oh, look! Ooh, jellyfish. I like jellyfish, they're cool. Games do this thing with jellyfish where you have to, like, go inside them. Is that a tree in there? Oh! Oh, what the freaking hell? What was that? That... Wait. Is, did that push me out? Is There's a red dot there. What is that? Oh, it's a jellyfish. If I have to go up inside that jellyfish, I'm gonna be a little bit, <laughs> little bit put out. I was literally just saying that games do this thing with big jellyfish where you have to kind of go inside them. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. I I guess I guess I'm I'm. Abandoning ship. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. So I need to go to that jellyfish, don't I? I, I guess. I uh, I should probably repair the ship first. I do love the fact that you... Oh. Um. Well, I'm not going to be using that anytime soon, am I? Save me, jellyfish friend. Save me. I think a part of my ship is about to hit it. <laughs> no, it missed. Um, so I did a I did a bad thing. 
It doesn't matter too much. It probably means I'm not going to be able to get out of here. It also means... Uh-oh. Hang on. Hang on. I wasn't concentrating. Um. Oh, I don't know what part of the jelly... Ow! I think I just died. <laughs> oh, well. Um. Apparently I did all the things wrong right there. That's fine. We can warp back to the beginning of the loop and try again. It didn't actually take me all that long to get there. At least I know a little bit more about what I'm supposed to do now. I know how to find the tornado thing. I know not to drive my ship into the electric thing. And I think, I'm not sure, that I have to ride a jellyfish? Hide in a jellyfish? I need to do something with a jellyfish, I'm pretty sure. I did notice that one going underneath it and then coming back, so... I mean, presumably, that's like a clue. This game does like its clues to things. I, I, I don't honestly know. Like, I assumed you have to go inside it because that's a video game thing that happens, like, all the time. But it might just be a case that I can use it as a shield, like, ride on top of it. That doesn't sound right to me, but, you know, video game logic and all that. Let's just dive right in, see if I can do this correctly, uh second time i mean a first time i didn't do it correctly the first time let's have a look is it going to be the same one each time all these appear to be spinning in the same direction oh that one there it is i saw it with my beady little eyes i think it's this one at least Yup, there it is. It's really crazy the way it does that. Just catapults you underwater. See, look, look, there. Hang on, wait, hang on, no. Uh, um, the steering is a, a little bit weird. There was a, there's a red, like, thing there. Look, there he is, look! Jellyfish! If I maybe go and find one... Like this one. I'll get really close because they seem closer than they are. Oh god, objects in the ocean may be closer than they appear. Let's grab the suit. I notice it's already heading down. I'm going to try and get inside it. It does look electrified, so maybe this is a horrible, horrible idea. Ow! Um... It shocked me. Is there maybe a particular part that I have to go through? Are there not... Are there jellyfish that's not... Like... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Something's happening. I was about to say, maybe there's some jellyfish that are... Like, not electrified. Uh, can I stand inside here? I'm inside a jellyfish right now. Uh, not gonna lie, not sure what to do from this point. I'm just kind of hovering. Oh, wait, wait I'm dropping. I didn't do anything, I just started dropping. Uh... Ooh, there's a thing. Yeah, there are. There's, there's like a tree under here. Hang on. Let's see if I can actually... Oh, no, 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 no. That was too rough. There we go. Flashlight. Huh. These are trees, right? They might be just tree-like rock formations. Well, there's definitely something here. Let me go and see what this is. Is this one of the crashed pods, or is this a part of the vessel? I for 
get what I'm doing here exactly now. I got so excited by the jellyfish and the tornadoes that I kind of just lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> Assuming, of course, that I knew what I was doing, that's quite a big assumption. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. Ooh, things. Oh, oh, what the frickin' hell? Oh, that's one of those gooey simulation things, isn't it? It's like a demonstration of something that happened. I think, if I remember correctly. This place is cool, isn't it? Let's actually try and do something here. Uh... Oh, it's one of the statues. And its eyes are open. That's a good thing? <laughs> don't actually know. Grab this and put it in there just to see what it does. I still don't get these projection stones. They take you to a place, you look at a thing, and as far as I'm aware, that's literally all they do. <laughs> Wait, if I put this one in here, it's just going to take me to the same place again, isn't it? Oh, no, no, that's for that. Sorry. Um, There's another one there. I didn't notice this one just a minute ago. <laughs> I have to get myself to the ceiling at some point. Let's have a good old read. Whoa, what? Whoa, uh, whoa. I, I pushed the wrong button and ended up jetpacking myself onto the ceiling. Nice to know that it's easy to get up there, but there we go. That's what I was trying to do. I have exciting news. The Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Remy is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? Weird that you refer to it like you would a person, but all right. It's an alien species. I won't judge. We are. The statue here in the probe tra tracking module is ready to record each launcher's flight and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Good stuff. On the other appendage, I'm now on the... Oh, on the other hand. I didn't get that at first. I don't people well. You have to look, excuse me. I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Ooh, that's a definitely worrying. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you. Wait, did they actually find it then? I was under the impression that they never found the Eye of the Universe. I'm going to assume that reading the next part of this from that stone is going to say that something went hideously wrong and that they never found it. For that reason. That hideously wrong reason. Oh. Well, there's a floaty tree there. Is that supposed to be doing that? <laughs> I feel like it's not. Is this where I am? I, I feel like it took me to the place where I already am. In a different time. There's a glowy transport thing there. And I can't head over to it because it just beams you out. Okay, let's have a look. See what this says. Imagine the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honoured and terrified. Uh, yeah, sentiment that I often share. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? I believe that was a yes, considering, you know, what we already know. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway... So, who... I only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe's cannon's structural integrity slightly? Yeah, I, I'm, 
that, that, that swings and roundabouts, if you ask me. Like, don't destroy your thing, but if you only need to use it once, it also doesn't matter if you do. Not destroying the very expensive probe cannon is definitely preferable. I... I would mind, yep, no, I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. So still... Still no confirmation there, is there? Oh, it keeps pulling the translator out. This is kind of cool under here. I'm getting like Subnautica vibes. A game that I've played quite a bit. Wee! Well, that was better than using my jetpack, wasn't it? It was definitely um, smoother. What am I doing here? Oh, oh! I accidentally stood on the thing again. <laughs> All right, fine. I like walked backwards onto it, I think. So I've got to move this and that activates these and then it, it like describes something, right? Cool. I mean, it's smaller than I was expecting it to be, but that's all right. I forget, do I read these top to bottom or bottom to top? Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9 million... Oh God. Receiving data from probe. Ooh. So they actually got some, some information. Let's see if there's anything, like, crazy interesting. Okay. Wow, look at all that. Oh, God, look at all that! What the hell? What's happening? What was that? <laughs> uh... Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by Probe 9 million. Total number of... Oh, God damn it. Total number of probes launched over 9 million. Receiving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Okay. Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. Did they actually find it then? I was under the impression that they never found it, but... What is this? Is this Norse writing? <laughs> Receiving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. So they did actually find it. This is writing I'm unfamiliar with as well. Which is, um, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so can I, like, go here to... I, I did a thing with my jetpack again. Yeah, gravity is definitely weird here. Um, yeah. No, I, I, I now know the location of the eye of the universe the right way up and upside down. So, you know, you're welcome. Um, not gonna lie, I thought there was be more to do in this in the center of this planet. It was kind of a big deal for a while there, but I guess it's not a lot, but it is important. So, can I just? Oh, 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 oh! oh. I need to get out of here. And gravity is definitely kind of weird. Da da! I'm a genius. <laughs> Son of Mogef is a genius, said no one ever. I am gonna have like a little looky look see round here. If I try and leave this place, am I gonna get like shocked again? 
I guess it doesn't really matter if I die because it has been updating my my ship log. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Huh. Okay, let me see if I can get back up to the ship then. Uh, the, the up is this way, son of Mogev. Don't die, 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 please. Ow. Okay, I didn't die, it just hurt a lot. Wait. Hang on. There we go. I couldn't head in the right direction for a minute then. Oh, I think my ship's gone up above the current. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> I think it might be bad. <laughs> Uh, there was a rock there, apparently, and I hit it really, really hard. <laughs> I'm the smart person, remember? That actually might be a good place to stop. I only had a few minutes left anyway, I think. I'm not sure how long I had left. It wasn't too long, so I probably probably wouldn't have been able to do that thing that I wanted to do on Brittle Hollow anyway. But I am going to go read the stuff and the things. I'm really interested to see... Um, to see if you can... what it says about the... Oh, really? Was that it? It was just completing that bit from the Orbital Probe Cannon, which I, I guess is cool. Uh, the Orbital Probe Cannon has launched millions of probes. The 9,318,054th probe located the deep space anomaly matching the criteria for the eye of the universe, the statue in the probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory, trajectory, that word that I can't say, and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I guess I'm going to the Ash Twin project next. Found Nomi coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Huh. Well, that's super duper cool. Let's have a look at the map. I guess I'm... Oh, uh, what is that thing? Oh, that's the quantum moon. Hollow's lantern. So there's the ash twin and the ember twin. I think the it's the ash twin that I need to go to, isn't it? Because it's the ash twin project. It's a little bit close to the sun for my likings, but... <laughs> Boop. There we go. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's just get a nice screen of the the telescope observatory thing. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there for this week. I think we, <laughs> that's uh, not a lot got done, but it was important things that got done. I managed to kill myself several times doing them. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, have a good old laugh at that in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Not sure why you would do it off the back of this video, but, um, you know, maybe you found it funny or something. I wouldn't blame you if you did. So, uh, I'll be back tomorrow for Diablo 2 Resurrected. I'm making some fairly decent progress in that game over the last, you know, week or so, which I'm pretty happy with. So, uh, yeah, come back tomorrow for that, and I'll see you then.